Hello, Facebook, YouTube, today, O oh, Michael, the archangel, the one is likened unto God, no, not a soul. He, she's a false goddess, quick motion, false gods and goddesses on God's days. All right, well, we're approaching Christmas. Well, here's the thing. Mm, well, the topic of my message, and I hope you have been following the patterns of the what I have been talking about is very important. Um, I'm talking about the idea of when are Christians are going to be seriously being about the truth. You know what I'm saying? When is Christians are really going to be sincere about the truth? As what the idea that I've been talking about concerning Christmas. Is it the truth that Jesus Christ was born on December 25th? Or is it true that Santa Claus is coming to town to bring gifts to everybody? Is that true? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, is, 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 is we going to question as a church or as a body? Well, a minute, um, I don't think the church system is quite ideal of the body of Christ that is one body, many members. But that's probably the problem of why things are not being discussed or questioned to see concerning the basis of truth. Because look, Jesus Christ is John 14 and 6. I mean, that's who he is. He's the way, the truth, and the life. But the thing is, if an ideal world system comes out with an ideal of, oh, well, he, uh, Jesus Christ was born on December 25th, um, if the church did not even try to research or find out if that is true or false, or they just, you know, because the world said it, we're just going to make it like this, you know what I'm saying? Are we about the truth? Because like a, Jesus Christ is the truth. And Jesus Christ says in John 4, 24, God is spirit and they shall worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the thing is, the way this church system is going about the ideal of Christmas shows that we're not worshiping in spirit and in truth if we're not truly questioning certain things the way it needs to be certain, that has something to do with Christ. Jesus Christ, the truth, you know what I'm saying? Is what always bothered me. And in the truth, this Santa Claus is going to come to town. Well, the truth is uh, some hardworking uh, people are going to go to work and they're going to uh, get paid some money and take this money and go purchase gifts and, you know, and, and, and wrap them up and put it under the tree. That's the truth. But Santa really is not going to come to that town. Well, I researched Santa and yes, Santa existed long time ago in uh, Germany. You know what I'm saying? An ideal figure of Santa uh, existed in Germany. Guess what? He's dead. You know what I'm saying? And he's not coming to town. But the thing is, are we as a church supposed to be about that agenda of addressing things concerning of what's going on? Because it always bothered me. Um, uh, Timothy, 2 Timothy 4, you know what I'm saying? And 4, it talks about men will not endure sound doctrine. They shall heed themselves a teachers of itchy ears, believing fables. You know what I'm saying? Turning away from fables and turning away from the truth. I mean, this turning from the truth is an epidemic to this ideal uh, religious church system that is going on these days that are not confronting certain things that are going on in this world that is that is having this earth in uh in horrible positioning from horrible situations now as you know 
the the greatest they said the most wonderful time of the year isn't all that wonderful of what you think it is that if those that are true sincere to research the ideal aspects of of what the significance of this holiday because of uh, I know that Jesus Christ wasn't born there but there were some people born there that uh, we do not consider as Christ. Uh, well, Christians don't consider as Christ, and that's Nimrod, Timos, uh, Osiris, and Horus, and Helios, and um, uh, uh, Mithras, you know, the unconquered son. Um, a lot of others that I research more. They said Hercules was born on this day. Yeah. Oh, Hercules never existed. <laughs> Man, this world system can do so much deception. It's just crazy how people allow this world system to deceive them and participate in the things of this world. But we are supposed to be Romans 12. We supposed to well, first one, present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, pleasing unto God for his reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We need to be of the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ, Jesus Christ. There we go. Back at it. Jesus Christ is the truth. You cannot go around the truth. That's what you know, Paul talks about. Second Corinthians 13 and I believe is 8 that you know you can't do nothing against the truth but only for the truth and the thing is this church, this church system is not confronting or not you know, I have no agenda don't need to do whatsoever about the ideal of something that has something to do with Christ is the ideal that he is the truth, you know what I'm saying, is what needs to be confronted. You the, you know, you're saying that the truth was born on a day where, you know, uh, that he wasn't born. I mean, that is supposed to be a lie, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be, but it's not seen as that kind of aspect of, what, of the Christians. Like, oh, well, the world said it's born this day, born on this day, whoop de doo Well, no, it's not whoop de doo You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, we need to be about the truth and be about finding the truth. Well, I researched and found the truth. I found out Jesus was born twice. Yes, yes. What, Mac? You know, that doesn't make sense. It's not going to make sense if you're not going to be about asking and seeking and finding out you know, and the doors be open. You just settling for every whatever this world system lies are giving you. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to even find out that Jesus was born twice. He was born spiritually when God said, let there be light. Jesus Christ was the light as what we know is in, in you know, he's the light of the world. He was the light that shined among the earth that gave the earth the power uh, uh, at in the beginning, and guess what? That's the reason why people live more longer in the beginning, as you know. If you look at your Bible, that Adam lived up to nine hundred and thirty something years. Yes, people live more longer in the beginning because the light, Jesus Christ, was the power that uh, was there in the beginning and facilitated the ideal of creation. You know what I'm saying? That's why Paul can say that Jesus Christ created the earth because he facilitated the ideal of creation. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning. See? Now, Jesus Christ was born in the natural uh, near uh, the first of Nisan. And the first of Nisan is, uh, is always in March, near March 20th. You know what I'm saying? The first of Nisan is the day that God declared to Moses and Aaron in Exodus 12 of the establishment of the lamb of the lambs. You know what I'm saying? That 
Uh, let me go to it. Um, uh, uh, but he established the order. See, that established the order, the pattern. God is a God of order. You know what I'm saying? He's not a God of whatever people want to put him, uh, Jesus birth at, you know what I'm saying? It's Jesus birth. No, he's a God of order. If those that truly seek him and seek him first, he's a God of order and is in Exodus 12. And guess what? 12 is the number of order. You seek this kind of stuff. That's why he uses 12, uh, uh, the 12 tribes and the 12 disciples in order. Now, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron in the land, This month shall be the, the beginning of months. The beginning. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Uh, it shall be the first month of the year to you. It says to you. You know what I'm saying? Not, not to the people of the world that got their genus, you know, uh, a.k.a. January. Yes, no, it's not a real new year. A new year should not be in the near the middle of winter. I'm just saying. Um, uh, that's not what God created. But anyway, it says, um, it shall be taking a, a lamb, a lamb. Jesus Christ says, now behold the lamb of God to take away the sins of the earth. Uh, and in the fifth verse, in Exodus 12, it says, A lamb that shall be without blemish, a male of the first year, and ye shall take it out from the sheep and from the goats. Of course, that has to be Jesus Christ right there, um, without blemish, showing a pattern of when the lamb is going to happen. And this, uh, uh, what I'm telling you right here, is Exodus 12, if, if you did research in a Jewish calendar, is is the event that happens in the first of Nisan. You know what I'm saying? Near the spring equinox is where Jesus Christ will be born. That's seeking the truth. And are we, as Christians, sincere about finding the truth? Well, I could be telling you a lie right now, but are you going to seek and find out that I am? See, and that's what I'm saying. We're not even trying to seek and question whatever that get information that is given to us because we think this world system is about the truth. No, it's about lies because Satan, the God of this world, blind the minds of men, is uh, in John 8, Jesus called him the father of lies. This world system is about lies. And Romans 3, 4, God be truth, every man be a lie. But are we? When are we going to get serious about the truth? Because as I've been talking about, um, that uh, making things straight, you can only straighten out things with the truth. You cannot straighten things out with lies. Lies keep things crooked, and 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 the thing is, everybody don't want this crooked activity going on in this world concerning all the darkness and all the wickedness and all the bad outcomes that are happening in the world. Nobody wants that. But in order, but if you don't want that, that means you have to get the opposite force of that. And that is the truth. The truth can only straighten out things and getting things right to the way it's supposed to be. And let me see, Jesus Christ, back to him. He's the truth. He's, and we need to be about his truth uh, if we sincere about being more like him, you know what I'm saying? If we're going to be about uh, 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 Jesus Christ and, and this church system is, is about operating a religious system and the religious system is all about standing, you know, laying back spiritually and allowing this world system to influence our minds about this and, um, and thinking that the world is okay this and okay that that Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day, that Santa Santa Claus is coming to town. No, that is not true. Uh, Jesus Christ was born, as I showed you, spiritually and, and near, they say, near September 11th, but that's another message. Um, but uh, And he was born in the natural and near the March 20th, near the first, the nation, whatever he, uh 
date the first of Nisan happens, that's when he was actually born in the natural. Uh, that's the truth. But are we going to be serious about the truth or are we going to yield to the lies of what's going on in this world? Well, guess what? We yield to the lies. We'll expect crooked things to occur. Expect, you know, uh, no answers, no s more problems and no no answers. I mean, well, more problems and no, yeah, no solutions to the problems that are going on around us, and and we're complaining more and complaining more. But look, Jesus Christ is the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And if you're not going to be sincere about being more like Him, pretty much as Christians, you're not really about serious about being about the truth. So Christians. I'm putting this out. You, the world going to do what the world do. We supposed to be doing what God do because we're supposed to be seeking to be made in the image and the likeness of God. And it's going to require John 4, 24. God is spirit. They should worship him, must worship him in spirit and truth, not in lies. All right, that's the message. God be the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.